Hey everybody, so today is Sunday. Oh, don't mind this. I'm gonna move this from my door. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I just wanted to take you along grocery shopping with me. Just grocery shopping um, and maybe getting some household items, like one or two household items. Um, I, I really need, like I need a plunger and a toilet cleaner so, yeah, because I hadn't bought that yet. So, I'm going to do that and um, then go to the grocery store and just get a couple of items. I just only need a few items um, or when I'm going to make them make some chicken wraps. Oh, you can come along with me to make dinner. How about that? How about that? Y'all want to come along with me to make dinner? Okay, come on. We're going we gonna to make dinner tonight, okay? All right. So, um, I am going to put on my shoes now and, uh, yeah, I will, uh, see you guys when I get to my, or headed out to my car. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So I'm on my way to my car now. Ciao. It's raining out here. It be real, real rainy. You know what I'm saying? I know in some areas it's snowing though, so. But yeah, it be real rainy. Okay, get in my car real quick. I'm in my car. And now, I'm about to head on out to the store. So, I plan on going to CVS and Aldi. CVS first to get the household item, and then um, to Aldi. I'm gonna see if CVS have like a plunger or something like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to Aldi. Do y'all ever go to like smaller stores to avoid the lines? And because I be doing that sometimes. I, I do that sometimes. Instead of like going to like a big store, I go to a small store. Because I'm like, if I go to a big store, I'm gonna be sitting there for a minute. But if I go to a small store, odds are, and if they have self-checkout, I'm gonna be in there for like a few minutes. So I'm driving. I'm holding this phone. I probably shouldn't be doing it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm still in my complex line drove yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head on to the store. And I'll see y'all when I get to the store, okay? Alright. Bye bye. A few moments later. It's a whole train stop, y'all. I haven't made it to the store yet. Look. But while we sitting here, I had just drove past the park, right? And I looked at the park and I was like, oh, yay, a park. And I'm thinking like, why did I just get excited about seeing a park? I am not a child. <laughs> I am a full adult. Um, but I was thinking like, I really say I was like, oh, park. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't, I can't slide down that slide. Okay. <laughs> and so then I was thinking like, maybe it's the kid in me. Maybe it's, it's the desire to like, just be childlike. You know, have you ever had a moment when y'all was like seeing something that would, that would not necessarily be like. For a kid, but you but you get excited maybe it was something you liked when you were a kid, and you see it now, and you're like, oh, that would be nice. And then you'd be like, wait a minute, <laughs> uh, maybe I need to find a park for an adult. <laughs> but no, um, I was just having that thought. I was like, what in the world? Why did I get excited about being in the playground? 
um like i was gonna go swing on a side slide or something like that or uh i mean not swing on the slide you know what i'm saying slide on the slide and swing on the on the swing um but yeah i i honestly i i think that i need to go do something fun obviously that's I mean, that's the only reason why I can think about why I, I'm getting excited about seeing the playground. I ain't got, I don't have no kids yet, so it wouldn't be like, oh, let me go take my baby to the, you know, one day, one day I'll have some kids when I take them to the playground. But yeah, I, I need to go find some, some fun adult things to do. So yeah. <laughs> But I just thought that was funny. Okay, I'm driving again, so I'm see y'all when I go to the store for real this time. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm walking to the store now and made it to the good old CVS. Okay. Uh, there goes the sign. Well, I don't have to. Y'all don't see it anyway. Okay. So, I'm in here to find, um, let me see if I got some deals on. No. Okay. I just legit came here for uh, a plunger. And I don't even know if they have one in here, actually. <laughs> so, hopefully they do. Or... I'm just gonna have to go someplace else. Here. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, what y'all been up to this week? What y'all got going on? Y'all in a good spirit? Y'all having a good year? How is y'all year going? How you been feeling? How your emotions been? Let me know. Comment down below. I would like to know. Y'all been feeling good about the year? If y'all had a lot going on so far, you know. It's new year, new things. Right? We can talk about it. We can talk about it. I like talking to people. Okay. I don't see it. I don't know why I thought I would see a plunger or something like that in here. Would that be more like Walgreens or something? Seeing it. Oh, he got one right here. But where the little stick? Oh, that little stick thing. I wonder how much it costs, Tab. Let me see how much this thing costs. This plunger costs. I didn't find one. See? Okay. Uh, why was I about to use the plunger stick to move the hair out of my face? <laughs> I thought go just like this. <laughs> okay. Let me ask the girl how much it costs. Hi. How much does this cost? Stand on that. I like your hair, it's cute. You're welcome. Stand on Stand on Touch the continue button. Touch the continue button. It's finished. Nine seven and nine. Nine dollars for this plunger? This is a cheap plunger. This should be like five dollars or less. Uh-uh, I don't want it. All right, thank you. I apologize. 
Thank you. Actually, she don't have to do time. Child, I had to spend $9 on that little cheap plunger. That's not what that plunger look like. I should have known better. CVS is expensive, child. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I got some extra bucks. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So, I didn't have no extra bucks. Well, I did, but I only had 29 cents in extra bucks. So, sometimes I'll be having like $5. Sometimes, you know. But anyway, um, I'm going to Aldi now. And then I'll go get the plunger from somewhere else. I'm thinking about going to Home Depot. I might just get it there because I'm trying to refurbish. Oh, I'm going to do a video about that. I'm refurbishing my um, a table that I got from the thrift store. And I'm going to spray paint it. It's going to be real cute. It's going to be real cute. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm super excited about that. So, this is just me doing a video with y'all, just vlogging or whatever. This is my first vlog, actually. This is my first vlog. It's not too much scenery. I feel like... Never mind, I ain't gonna say what I was gonna say. So, uh... I'm gonna... Like just a few things so y'all come along with me y'all wanna y'all want me to cut off the video and come back or y'all want to just get out the car with me come on just get out the car with me i know you i know that's what you want i know that's what you want you just want to get out the car with me i see you don't want me to put a camera down all right you don't, do you want me to switch over this is gonna be a very low edited video it's gonna be straight straight street no nah, i'm joking where did that come from that's from a movie straight street we want straight street listen up y'all tear this mother up get grimy and dirty straight street okay i'm done all right i know i know but i said i was done i didn't even really start I really, I really didn't even start. Okay. Lock up the car. Now I'm going inside. Uh, I'm not going to get a car because I don't really need one. I usually just got a box. It would be about my, my way. So I'm coming here to get some wraps. I'm gonna get some uh, spinach. Oh, I need some bananas. I wish I could switch over the camera situation. I don't think it's letting me do that. So. Okay, let me go up in this box right here because. I got a lot going on right there. Hey, I got some bananas. These are kind of old. Let me see if I can find some green ones. Probably can last a little bit longer. I'm going to take three of these. And I'm going to take these. No, I'm not. I'm going to take these. Why do these look like this? No, never mind. I ain't going to take those either. Yeah. See what I got. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna take. I got some yellow ones, and it's the one that's kind of green. And then I'm gonna get some lettuce too. Maybe I should do a spring mix. Spring mix, I feel like it's going to go old fast. Y'all know about spring mix? I feel like it's going old fast. 
You see it's browning already. Look, y'all see that? I don't know how much this costs, but I like iceberg lettuce. Uh, I do. I'm a fan of iceberg. I'm doing iceberg. Okay. Okay, it's about time I got the box. Oh, it's not there. Uh, for me to carry this in. Oh, here go. Empty box right here. Look at that. Directly. direct me. That's for empty box. Oh, no, you're okay. Thank you. Um, let, okay, let's see. I'm gonna get some brain wraps. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Look at this. These are my favorite. Finish wrap. I'm gonna get um, some tortilla chips. Mm hmm. So I want my wrap, period. And uh, where are the tortilla chips? Oh, those have. I gotta get regular tortillas. I can't get nothing fancy right now. Because, you know. So, if I get these chips out, sometimes these chips are salty. These ones are right here. Have y'all ever been for Audi and got these? Sometimes they be so salty. Look at that. Look at all that salt. Can y'all see salt? Y'all can't see it's salt, child. But sometimes they be a little salty. We'll see. I'm gonna grab them today. And then I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna grab some cans. Of corn, black beans. Uh oh, I'm dropping this box, child. Hold on. Black beans. And, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't want to be all up in your face like that. Just a second. Okay. Right up this corner down here. And then I'm going to grab some brown rice. Because I'm going to make some chili. I want some diced tomatoes. Because I got the corn. And then, uh, where's the diced tomatoes? Oh, here it goes. He's like the roasted kind, I think. And that's with garlic and tomato. The roasted kind was good in my chili last time I made it. But I, the other one got seasoning in it. Basil, garlic, and oregano. You know, you gotta be real good. You gotta be real good. You gotta be all stocked up. You know I gotta be popped up. <laughs> Shout out to Danny. The chef Danny. She make her food real popped up. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna put, it's gonna be like just a three, four ingredient um, chili. For me. No. Is that? Five ingredient chili. Sometimes I buy chili beans. Uh, where, where is the wrap? I gotta look. I, it's the 90 second brown rice I buy. I'm not putting no quinoa in my whistle. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna sit y'all up on the show while I look for this. Oh, there we go. No, that's just regular brown rice. Oh, is this it? Why do I look different? Brown basa bas basmati rice. Is that what they usually sell? I guess that's what they usually sell, child. I would be the person that go grab the items in the back because it's looking a hot mess right now. And I would be that person to clean that up. 
But you know, God's been working on me to to stop taking on stuff that ain't my job. That's a word. <laughs> that's a word for somebody. Hold on, y'all. Stop stop taking on stuff that's not yours. There's people that literally get paid to do that. Of course, sometimes guests be courteous and help, but they don't need no help. That's what they get paid to do. So who am I to take away your job? Mm -hmm. And it ain't my job. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to be that person who's like, oh, this is just messed up. I need to go clean this up, blah, blah. And God, like, girl, you got other things to do. Okay. So, yeah. That's why I've been working on. Let me, uh, I just wanted to grab a can of peaches just because yellow peach slice in 100% juicy. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if I got time for no corn syrup situation happening. I don't do corn syrup. Yeah. Let's do this. Alright, y'all. I'm heading on out. This is all I got. This, this is my box with all my, my all these goodies. Excuse me. And if you didn't know, when you go to Aldi, and you um you know don't need a whole lot just grab a box you don't have to buy no bags unless you just don't want to carry a box then you know then buy bags but me oh I'm gonna grab a box well, that's you. But on the other hand, me? Oh, I'm gonna turn up. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, I finally get to video y'all again. <laughs> Y'all, my battery went out while I was in the store. I was going, I was actually saying bye anyway. I was um, actually going to just say, hey y'all, you know, I'm in the store. I'll talk to y'all when I get in the car. And, but that must have been the Holy Spirit because uh, it went out, the camera went out anyway. But anywho, um, so I got all my things and now I am headed to Home Depot because I was going to ask them about this refurbishing project. Um, see if they had any advice or anything like that. I literally just got sandpaper and some <laughs> a spray can so uh, of paint, of primer and paint. So um, I'm need, I, I want to see if there's anything else I need to do. So see if maybe they'll help, help me. But anywho. I'm driving right now, and I, I ain't supposed to be. Don't don't do this at home, kids. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna get off here. But I just wanted to say that that I'm I'm headed out. Oh, and my food was only fourteen dollars, y'all. That's why I love me some Audi. I love me some Audi, y'all. Y'all need to if y'all have an Audi, y'all need to get one. Okay, y'all wanna see? I'm driving to this the little area whatever okay that's it that's all y'all get that's all y'all that's this that's how y'all get no i'm just joking i'm i'm <laughs> kind of <laughs> okay y'all i i really feel like i'm a great driver have y'all ever is there any ever anything that y'all do that you like I'm bomb at that like for real for real like like that's I, I do this like like I, I do this have you ever had a moment like that cause that's how I be feeling about driving I feel like I do this 
You know what I'm saying? Like when people get in the car with me, like, don't worry. I got this. Me and the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't fully doing it on your own. Don't get pride, you know what I'm saying? Don't get big headed. But you know, this is my gift. And I, I, I think I'm a bomb driver, honestly. I, I really do. In a good way. Not a bad way. Not, not like bomb, bombed it, but like bomb, like bomb.com. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And also, you know what I was going to say? I, I know I said I was going to be okay, but you, you, yeah, I just got something to say. It smelled like Popeyes. Girl, it smelled like Pop Boy, sir, ma'am. It smelled like Popeyes when I got out that Aldi store. And you know what I was thinking? I ain't had Popeyes in a minute. I ain't had chicken in a minute. Okay. Popeyes be smelling so good. You can smell it from a miles away. <sighs> Anywho. What's y'all favorite food? My favorite food is not Popeyes. My favorite food is Mexican food. But, baby, when I was eating chicken, because I haven't eaten chicken in, in a while, but when I was eating chicken, Popeyes, Wingstop. Some people don't like Wingstop, but I like Wingstop. Zaxby's is good. And then, yeah, of course, your mama fried chicken. Your grandma fried chicken. Your auntie fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? Your family fried chicken. Yeah. Nothing can't really beat your family cooking. Unless your family can't cook. But my family, my family can cook. Okay. Ain't nothing like a home cooked meal. And then, your own fried chicken. If you fried chicken. I never really been a big chicken fryer. I've cooked fried chicken before, like, when I was a teenager. But I can't tell you the last time I cooked fried chicken, like, as an adult. I don't even know if I ever cooked fried chicken as an adult. I've had it. Other people cooked it for me, but I don't think I've ever cooked it myself as an adult. Or maybe I have, like, in college or something like that. Like, when I was a guy. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't really eat uh, cooked fried chicken like that. I only usually like buy it. Um, I can cook. Don't get don't get it twisted. I just ain't, you know. But anyway, again, this is supposed to be a vlog, y'all. But I'm talking, doing more talking than showing. But that's because I'm driving most of the time, so I can't really. I mean, what y'all want? What what y'all what what y'all want? This is my first one. Tell me what you want to see in a vlog. Okay, if you've made it to this point, because like I said, this is low edited, so I hope y'all listen to this thing from the beginning to the end. Because you know, this is my first time. Tell me and tell me how I did. Y'all want to see my little basket with my food in it? This is my little basket with my little food. I had I had some of them chips, them chips are not salty. I think you know I'm getting them mixed up with Walmart uh, gen, uh, brand chips, um, them be real salty. Excuse me. These are not. And I should expect nothing, nothing less from Aldi. I feel like Aldi is like the grocery store version of Chick-fil-A. They so holy and righteous. <laughs> I feel like Aldi is like the, the, you know, they always say, they don't be saying all the time when you leave my pleasure. But the people, the customer service is so good. You know, and then they got the twice as nice. So that means like if your product is messed up, you can return it, get a new product, and get your money back. Like what other store is doing that? Child. So I love me some Audi. Anywho. Um, I am driving, so yeah. I I'll catch y'all when I'm at the store. Okay. Bye bye. Do y'all be seeing that, hearing that on Instagram? I feel like, why do they be saying that? Bye bye. Everybody be doing that. <laughs> and then I just accidentally did it. I just stay off Instagram. So, you know, all right. Well, I don't need to. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. I done pulled up. I done pulled up on Home Depot. Pull up on me. Pull up, la, 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 la. Oh. For real, if y'all want to pull up on me, pull up on me. Pull up on me. Pull up. Uh, 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 pull up.
only. Okay. <laughs> I done pulled up on Home Depot. Let me grab my purse. Now I must go in and get my stuff. I be I be feeling kind of tall when I get out my car. I feel my legs so long. I be trying to, you know. Uh, what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get out cute, but when you a little tall, I ain't super tall. I'm five six. But I'm taller than an average woman. So I be looking down at women like this. They be looking up at me like this. And I be like, hey, how you doing? Hey, God, how you doing? You know. But there are women taller than me, so they didn't be looking at I be looking up at them like this. No. <laughs> okay. So anywho, we at Home Depot. Y'all see the Home Depot? I hope y'all saw it because I don't have the option to turn my camera around right now. So, so I'm going to go get a plunger. I gotta ask her. Excuse me, where are the plungers? Plunger? Yes. Your hair is cute. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll go. Okay, and can you tell me what a sandpaper is? Okay, thank you. Oh, look, I said thank you, and I said thank you. Oh, I was well. Look at this. Child, I didn't have to go to I me mean, right here. I didn't have to go far. God is in the blessing business. Okay, they have a plastic bellows toilet plunger and then the force cup plunger. Which one do y'all think is better? Y'all see the difference? I like the, I now usually I be seeing the, this one. Now I will pay $9 for this, but I wouldn't pay $9 for that little cheap thing. They got the same thing here at Home Depot. These little cheap ones for three dollars and I said saying, and CVS had that. That's say nine dollars. Uh uh. But they have this one for five dollars, five ninety eight. Do y'all think this is better? Y'all think it's better? Let me see. Let me show y'all. kind of cheap like I don't know if it's gonna do what it's supposed to do I mean but they selling them so they must do something and then they got this one and I guess it comes out like this I don't know I'm about to ask this man is he Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. I know you're busy with a customer. Uh, are you with a customer? I just want to know your advice. Which plunger do you think is the better one? Between this one or that one? Between which one and which one? That one and that one. This one and this one here. Uh, I think that one will work better. You think that one will work better? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. You have a blessed day. Okay. He said he think this one will work better. I'm going to listen to the man of God. I'm going to get it. And it's cheaper. It's only $5.98.
So now I'm going to aisle 48. Where is aisle 48? They got me out here walking down these aisles. They got so much stuff going on. This is like a man's, like a manly man's, you know what I'm saying? Like, head, not heaven, but you know. No, nah, it ain't nothing like heaven, but you know. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for, y'all? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm looking for aisle 48. I should ask. I need to find one of these men and men to uh, help me <laughs> with my question. Okay. Who can I ask? Who can I run to? To share this When I need help, tell me. Okay. I don't see. Okay. I'm going to go down the aisle real slow because I was walking a little fast. I'm gonna go slower and I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the aisle because I did not do that. So. Oh, there you go. That's a right there. Uh huh, and this is why you, you go to the end of the aisle. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Okay. That's it. I found it. So glad you got this. This right here, baby, feels rough. Like, I really don't even want to put my finger on it. You know what I'm saying? Rough. Okay, let me see. Remove smooths medium. Removes coarse. Oh, this one's legit. This one's legit too. And it's a sheet. Let me show this one. Ooh, this is what I need. Okay. I think I'm going with this. Oh, excuse me. Do you know about a uh, primer? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, not all men and men know everything about everything, you know what I'm saying. I gotta ask another man and man, because I know that. I do know that. Okay. Can I touch this right here? Excuse me. Can I purchase here? No. Okay. I have a question about do you are you familiar with primer or a little bit? A little bit? Okay, I want to refurbish a wood table, right? Do you know the details of going and doing that? He might not go. He might. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll wait to ask him. Thank you though. doing okay so I am trying to refurbish a table a wooden table right and I got this in order to sand it down are you familiar with what it takes to refurbish a wooden table so this is like pretty coarse sandpaper so it's gonna remove like the paint that's already there yeah that's what I'm trying oh I'm trying to remove the wood like the, the wood stain from it like sand it all the way down to like it's white part yeah. 
so that's what this would do. Well, I would go one more up at least, like to an 80 grit if you can. Um, the 60 is pretty coarse, so it's going to remove the pain. So. Is that like a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I don't know what all you want to do. Yeah, I want to remove the pain. Yeah, you want to remove the pain? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and then, because I want to take it to its natural state, kind of like, you know, the wood mm -hmm. thing right there. So I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what this would do? Yeah. Okay. And then I want to paint over it. Do you know, like, the proper steps to do that? Because uh, some I've seen some people prime it, but I, I bought a spray can that is has the paint and the primer already in it. Do you mm -hmm. think that's good enough? Do you think? Yeah, that's fine. Like, priming it um, helps paint stick to it, like, a lot easier, right? So you could get a separate one, but you know, now we have paint and primers together. So oh, you so that to necessarily get a, like one by itself. You could just get that like a combo. And you just, just make sure you know. Okay, so that will be fine. Okay. Well then, I think I got everything. I should have learned to see how much y'all paint costs. Oh, you said you were like a table, right? Yeah, it's like um, a nice thing. Oh, I think I took a picture of it. Well, one thing this is optional. So, so if you feel like, like doing it. it is to get like a clear coat and go on top of it to kind of make it a little more durable. But that's only if you're like actually using the table to eat off of or you're putting like a lot of stuff on it. Um, and it's optional, you don't have to do that, but it'll just make it a little more durable at the time. Okay. Clear coats are probably like nine dollars or something. Well, it depends because they come in like a bunch okay. of different types like sprays, ports. Okay, you're gonna come or take, okay. So yeah, I'm doing this for my too. my YouTube too. Um, can I put you on camera now? <laughs> yes. Not really. No, not really. Oh, okay, it's okay. Well, then I won't do that. I just want to ask first. Okay. Now it depends on the type of paint. Though. So if you have an oil based paint, get an oil based polyurethane. If you have a water based paint, get a water based polyurethane. Okay. Now, do y'all have a spray? Oh, y'all do have a spray yeah. version. Office. Yeah. And then here's the finish. So you have a satin finish. You have a high gloss finish. You have a matte finish. Okay. Okay. And then I. Don't worry about these. This is for outside use. Now, do, do y'all have. Oh, that's good to know. Do y'all have um, one that already has something like that? Like a three in one? Like with the primer, the mm. paint, and the, and the. We do online. We don't okay. in store. Do you know what brand or what, what it's called? It's called Beyond Paint. Beyond Paint? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can order that and like, ship it to your place if you want to do that. Um, that has all three. All right. Thank you, Hunter. You have a blessed day. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So, Hunter just educated me. He didn't want to be on camera, which I understand, child. Like, I don't know you. Why would I want to be on your random YouTube channel? <laughs> No, I'm just joking. But no, seriously though, he used to be like, check him out on the inside. He was really nice about it. He was like, no. Okay, so now I'm going up to the front. Oh, this is our sit. This should be the front then. Home Depot is like a woman's dream too because if you like remodeling your house or you got a new house and you want to do some things, decorate, towel, all that type of stuff, get you a Home Depot. Get you a Home Depot. I said that like, get you a man at. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but that sound like that. Get you, get you one of them. Yes. Where is a toilet? Do you have toilet bowl scrubber? Like a toilet bowl cleaner? Toilet bowl cleaner? Yeah, you know like the scrubber. That goes, the white, they're usually white in their brushes, like the toilet bowl brush. Okay. And it's going to be over in cleaning, which is now number 51 by paint. That's where they are. Okay, thank you. She was looking at me like a toilet bowl cleaner. Why 
I tell you, yo, yo, uh, clean your toilet. Oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my, I hope this is not foreign language. To you, ma'am. I hope you clean your toilet. I was getting a little concerned, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. But she looked at me like a toilet bowl cleaner. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Is it sixteen eighty nine or fifteen ninety? Sixteen eighty nine. It was fifteen ninety three before I hit. Oh, um, before tax? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Shopping at the Home Depot. Alright, ma'am. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Alright, God bless you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Alright, bye. I like your hair. It's cute. Thank you. And you're so pretty. You have beautiful skin color. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm on my way. To the car now. I got my stuff. I got the bathroom goodies. It's a nice car. Okay, Porsche. Okay, Porsche. I see you, Porsche. I see you. Okay. I'm really about to. I just put my keys in my purse. Like I'm not about to drive off. I'm really just trying to get in the car. I feel like I look like a like I'm in an R and B video, like a '90s R and B. But that's that's what they used to do in the '90s. Anyway. I'm sending you a full page letter mm -hmm. with the keys, and when I'm driving, he better get it on time. No. <laughs> Okay, if you don't laugh at me, I'ma laugh at me every time. Not <laughs> I see. Don't they? That's how they used to do, y'all. You're not nice, so. You know they? No, they loved him a good shoulder bounce in the '90s. The bounce, the shoulders was bouncing. Did y'all used to grow up and want to look like y'all aunties and y'all? cousins and whatever in the 90s i used to grow up and be like oh i'm gonna wear baggy shirts one day yeah baggy shirts with tims and dark lip liner that's gonna be my thing when i get older you know and hoops okay with the name and the the hoops with the name right here you know what i'm saying that's why that's what I that's what I said I was gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be having the urge to to to, to, to look like I came straight up out of the nineties. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get on my seat. Yes, yeah, I'm trying to get on my seat belt while I'm <laughs> Well I'm talking to y'all what? You know you gotta use what you get. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Being a black woman? Hold on. Yeah, I do want to talk to y'all later. But, uh, I'll see y'all when I'm back at the house. Back at the crib. 
Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, y'all. I'm home. I'm getting out the car. I didn't drop the thing. I didn't drop the phone. Okay, y'all. I'm home. I'm getting out the car. And I just said that real Chicago, like, core. Core. Because like, cause y'all know I'm from Chicago. Shy town. I never did this being from Chicago until I got to school, got to college. I went to college. Philander Smith, what's up? Philander Smith, PSC all day. Okay, let me stop. Um, <laughs> but we used to do this. Actually, let me put my little phone, my little camera. We used to do this. Shy town. Because, you know, you have to rep represent your, your, your city, your state. So, they'd be like, Illinois. Illinois. When it's really Illinois, Illy, Illa, Ill, Ill. I say Illa, like I L L A. I say Illa, Illinois, but it's Illa, Illinois, Illinois. But I, I say Ill, Illinois, Illinois. That's just how my accent or dialect. What's the proper term? Dialect accent. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but people, when I got down to the south, nobody thought I was actually from Chicago. I think they thought I was too, like, suburban. They thought I was suburban, but I, I'm really not that suburb. I am, but I'm not. Like, I did come from Calumet City, but Calumet City ain't. No offense to Calumet. No, I mean you shouldn't be offended. I mean you know you know where you from. You know you know your hood neighborhood. Cameron City is a suburb, but it's it's like all the people from Chicago that want to live in a nice neighborhood move to Cameron City. So it, it's like Chicago people and they just like migrated to another You know what I'm saying? So but anyway, y'all. So yeah, so I'm from Chicago, and so yeah, people used to think that I was uh, from Michigan. I think somebody said California. Maybe used to think I was from all over. I'm like, no, I'm from Chicago, child. So I'm classy, real classy. But then it got a little bit of hood, just a little bit. Every now and then, like I don't really, I don't really express the hood part of me because. You know, well, yeah, I do, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's there. It's just in you. It's who you are. And what is hood? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the hood? Like, what is, what, who, who? You know, it gives you a little grit. It gives you strength. Being from the hood, it gives you, and I'm not from the hood, but I am from the hood. Like, you know, I lived in the hood. You could live in the hood and not be of the hood. But when you grow up in the hood and you got hood friends, you gonna have a little hood in you. But I grew up in a church too. So it was like, I was churchy. Ch grew up in a church as a Christian young lady. Your parents don't let you partake in everything. But you around friends and family who got hood in them. So it's like, you know, you you get you you you're a embodiment of all the different things that 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 make you. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm black, so I'm not trying to say all black people hood, but I'm saying like we we have the hip hop culture we have that influenced us, right? We have things that influence us even from TV. So you it it makes you a little bit of who you are, all of a little bit of who you are. So yeah, so um anyway, I think I'm gonna talk about oh, cause I'm thinking about some other stuff too. What I'm thinking about is like I I'm a I'm a I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all. Cause I think I'm gonna make a, a do a video about it. About how like and this might be for a particular type of woman, 
but specifically a woman who you know this would be so good specifically a woman who did grow up like in the the city the inner city but is like a little bit more refined as she grows up and she carries herself refined and classy and stuff like that but then the men they think that you just so refined that they could act and do whatever they want to do that they don't think that you gonna say what you gotta say when you need to say it you know and I, I used to come up against that sometimes like when I would date like certain kinds of men they think that you're like quiet or refined or like a certain type of woman and then they think they can just say whatever they want to say to you or act however they want to act to you because you you carry yourself like in this like very quiet submissive kind of way but you got a little hood in you I'm not going to knock out your windows out your car and I'm like, I'm not going to be that crazy like that, but I'm not going to let you talk to me. And then they'd be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you. Were, yeah, you, you, what you just, did you, oh yeah, you don't know. Cause that you, I, it's never had to be brought out. But now since you're acting a fool, I had to bring it out. You know what I'm saying? But that's only with a certain kind of man. And I'm glad I don't date those kinds of guys no more. But Yeah. The ones who, like, they want to cut up. They want to say little slick things about girls, other women sometimes. Like, you know, like, sir, who did you think you was talking to? You know what I'm saying? You know. But we're going to talk. We can talk about that another time for another day. But, yeah, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> okay. So, now I'm going to go. <laughs> And put the stuff in the house. And then I'm like, it's going to be good.